Good morning, boys and girls. Let's do some math. Now, we have had a short break, haven't we? Actually, not really that short. Two weeks isn't that short. So we want to get our minds going back into our math mode, right? That might take a little bit of time, and that's all right. We are going to continue right where we left off, though. Oh, Mrs. Fox, how are you? It's been so long. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, oh yeah, welcome back, and she's out, welcome back, yes, welcome back from two weeks off, I hope you had a wonderful time, now, before we left, before we got our break, we were doing some measuring, and I thought, why not continue with that, right, why not make sure that we have our measuring down and we practice some more and get a little refresher, right? Because it's been a couple weeks. We might not have measured anything during these last couple weeks. So why don't we get get some uh, some some more tips on measuring? Well, does that sound good? That sounds excellent, Mr. T. Granny, welcome back. Granny, good to see you. Good to see you and great to see you, boys and girls. Hope you have a wonderful time today. I'll just be we going now. Bye bye. See ya. Uh, Granny. Okay, I think she's uh, I think she's good. All right. Well, good to see Mrs. Fox and Granny come along. Now, remember when we were measuring, we were using uh, non-standard and some standard uh, measuring tools, right? It was different things like. Our cubes, for one. We can use our cubes to measure. Now, the important thing to do when you are done measuring something is to write down what you used. So if something was three cubes long, you're going to make sure that you write three cubes long. You don't want to leave that off because if you just say it's three long, three what? I don't know. Nobody knows what it is, so we have to make sure that we're writing down what we use, whether it is cubed or if you're using a ruler, you're using this part in inches, or you can even use our centimeters, right? There's a lot of different things that we can use. Oh, when we even use paper clips. That's fine too, but you have to make sure you write that down. Now, let's review some important things about measuring. So I have a marker here. If I want to mark, measure this marker and I'm going to use my cubes, what I'm going to do is make sure that I line up the ends exactly, right? We want them because if I'm, if I'm like this, that's not going to give me an accurate measurement. No, we want to make sure that you line that up just like that. And once you have that lined up, you see where you're at. Okay, this is the next one. So. As you can see, looking at this, it's in between, right? It's right in between. So I could say either one. So I could say it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about, remember that? We said it's about seven cubes. Or I could say it's about six. Now, me personally, I think it's closer to six. It's a little bit farther. So if you wanted to say it's about seven, I don't have a problem with that, okay? Important thing is we wanna make sure we line it up. Now, these are pretty good measuring tools because see, in between these cubes, there's no spaces. There's no spaces. So it'll give you a more accurate um, uh, measurement on how many cubes it is. If we're trying to measure and we have a big space like this, we're not gonna be accurate, right? We wanna make sure that there are no spaces, just like this. And if you look at our ruler, we start here at one and we and we go here to one and that's where the second inch starts. There's no space in between. They're all right next to each other. So that's what we need there, right? Now, if you wanted to measure today with a ruler, if you have a ruler, you can also do that. Make sure that you get the ends lined up just like we did with the cubes. And you would see it is in between two. Oops, wrong side. That doesn't help, does it? It is in between two. So this is either about four inches or about five inches. Okay. So your goal today 
couple things I'm going to have you do. I'm going to have you do some measuring today. Uh, and I want you to find a spoon. And I want you to measure that using whatever standard or non-standard units you want to use. use so we're going to do a spoon, a remote control of some kind, and a shoe. Any shoe around the house, right? Any spoon, any remote control, any shoe. I want you to measure that and I want you to write down. It's about three cubes. It's about four inches, right? So you're going to write out three sentences. The spoon is about, mm. the remote control is about, and the shoe is about. When you're done with that, why don't we practice our one minute math, right? So we'll do our one minute math page, see how many, uh, how many you can get done in one minute. See if you can if you can improve upon the last time you did it, all right? Okay, boys and girls, have some fun with math today. I know that, uh, that you're excited to be back at school and our friends are gonna be joining us all day long. So please, please get to work, have a lot of fun and I'll see you very soon.